Oh. My. God. Cartoon Network Games Bloons Adventure Time Tower Defense. This is amazing! We are going to play this new fantastic game right here for you guys. We're going to talk all about everything for you and hopefully have an absolute blast. If you guys don't know what this is, it's literally a Bloons game kind of combined with uh, uh, Adventure Time. So, uh, the, oh, one of the, mo the they actually have a story for this game. For Blue Start Event 6, there's almost no story. You just, you, you do things. You pop the blues. They're evil. In this game, there's actually a story to go through it. And I love that they actually have the real, I believe, they're the real voice actors for Adventure Time. Though, I have to say, I'm sort of sad about, uh, uh, Max. Max being my, my, not, not Chris's voice. It's, it's Max's voice. <sighs> this isn't good. The balloons have spread throughout. Ooh. Going down to the candy kingdom. We better hurry. Oh god, the freaking Candy Kingdom. Let's hop on over to the Candy Kingdom. And they're candy, corner, candy cornered right now. We've got one out of five difficulty to hop in over here. And we've got to unlock the princess. A cry for help, a cry for help arrives from the Candy Kingdom. Alright, let's do it here, boys. Let's have some fun. So I've got to say that I'll, I'll be on... Ooh. We need to get to her right away. PB. Let's get to, let's get to PB. How do you know that? I have this letter here that says... I'm in trouble. You need to get there right away. <laughs> sure, uh, as long as we can stop for ice cream on the way. Finn, help! PB, who did this? Who tied you up? Never mind me. Protect the candy citizens. Oh my god, we gotta protect the candy citizens. Oh, so we can play a normal, hard, or even go all the way up to freaking extreme over here. I don't know. Should we try just playing extreme to see what we could do? They want, I think they want us to play normal. Oh, they're going to force us to play normal. Okay, all right. So, um, overall, man, it's a, it's a pretty exciting game. I got to say that it's I love the detail that they put in this. Like, when I compare this to the maps uh, and beat Blue Shot Event 6, and I know I'm going to compare it to Blue Shot Event 6 a lot. When I compare this thing, it just looks way, way different, if you ask me. Finn, don't let the balloons get to the candy citizens. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, so this is basically how it works. Right now, we've only got three of the characters unlocked. Not even towers, three of the characters unlocked. And uh, what we're going to do is, can we just chop her open right now? I hope so. That would be cool. Let's see. No, oh, we can't chop her open yet. Alright, so and then the, the crazy thing about it is the amount of upgrades that you can get. There's the Ratter Faster, Limber Lim, and Sword Player, right in the clubs. And then there's more, 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 and more! So let's combine this with a Dart Monkey, just regular old Max over here. We're gonna just toss him in the corner over here, and let's watch these balloons go to town. So, uh, of course, uh, Finn has a... it's a pretty small... Oh, no way, man. The, what the heck? I thought the range would be more than enough! He's literally going to pump none of them! Are you kidding me? So I need to get... I think maybe this is more range. Let's check it out, man. The limber limbs, is that more range? I hope so. There we go. All right. <laughs> I would have sucked it up if I didn't have those extra range right there. There we go. Now we're getting to town on these blues, dude. Heck to the yeah. Let's, uh, let's ratter and faster. Let's get this going next. 200 bucks to get that, but that's okay. As I was saying earlier, I love the look of the game. Everything just looks... Oh, man, they got C, C in the back. Okay, all right, interesting. I love the look of it. It just looks cool. You know, it looks like Adventure Time. Um, the little characters kind of dancing in the background just reminds me of... Uh, uh, Adventure Time. Now, I gotta say this. I, I didn't... I've never actually watched uh, a lot of Adventure Time in my life. I've only watched a little bit of Adventure Time. I'm just more here for the gameplay right now, guys, and that's what I'm gonna talk about with you guys. Is the game going to be a fun game? From the people that I've talked to so far, they say that they prefer Blue Star Defense 6 a little bit better, but this is still a great game. And having a story and having, you know, different maps that we kind of work through to get to the end of the game is kind of, kind of sweet. All right, round four here, baby. So don't forget, we can also get... Uh-oh, can we get Jake up in here? Let's see what kind of range he's going to get. I've not used him yet in one of my games. Basically, I did the tutorial over here, and then they were just like, Bloop, nope, no more for you. All right, need uh, a few more dollars. Let's see how good Jake's going to be. 
Now, Finn is doing a, a good chunk of damage against these blues. Looks like he can do at least four with his sword. I don't know if he has a max amount of damage that he can do. Um, seems like he's worse against the space balloons, a little bit better against the grouped balloons kind of thing. Here's Jake. Let's see. Ooh, he's got a sort of small range over here. Let's pop him in the corner. Oh, he's another attacker, too. He sm oh, he smacks the balloons, dude. All right, what kind of upgrades can we get for him? Mace Hand, Axe Foot, Jack of All Trades. Maybe combine them all together a little bit. I like it. Now, we've only got a few more rounds to go. So now we've got a full 200 lives to protect the candy people over here. Uh, I think with only 10 rounds, even if we let like almost all the balloons go through, would that even be 200 lives? I don't know, man. It's got to be close at that point. So, uh, let's just... Can I do anything with all the map over here? I'm just curious if there's anything interesting going on. It looks like, no, the map is sort of uh, irrelevant at this point. It's just sort of there in existence. I can't click on the candy people or anything. I can't click on the little bench in the background. Oh, here we go. We got Princess Bubblegum. Finally, I'm free. There's no holding me back now. You had a bubblegum blaster under there the whole time. A bubblegum blaster. I love it. Did tie you up or did you have an accident with the blaster? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, she had an accident with the blaster, that's for sure. So I love the comedy in the game as well. It's not just uh, the, your standard, uh, uh, you know, stupid blue, stupid balloons game. They actually add some comedy in here, some story action, and it's, uh, it's looking pretty good so far. Of course, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you press that like button for me, man. Subscribe if you haven't. We're going to have a bunch more Adventure Time uh, videos coming in your way very, very quickly. But Ninja Kiwi is... They're, they're holding me back a little bit. They said, Chris, we love you. We want you to make some videos, but we can't be letting you make a thousand videos in one day. So they're limiting me to only one video per day for you guys. And uh, what I'm hoping is that, you know, for I think August 29th is when it fully gets fully released for everybody. That's when I'm going to unload the videos on you guys and get everything you need to know about this game all underway. And that's probably when you guys can download it as well, especially if you're in the United States or you're Canada or anything. Right now it's in soft launch, so if you live in a sort of weirder country, um, they may have already launched it for you. You may be able to buy this game or get this game already. So we're going to speed it up just a little bit for these last few rounds right here. Uh, the question is, what do we want to get? Do we want to upgrade Princess Bubblegum over here, PB? Or do we want to get uh, uh, the Jack of All Trades? Or do we just go standard, regular Dart Monkey upgrades? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I'm feeling, uh... She's got a bunch of different ways to go about it. I think I'm, I'm gonna go with the Jack of All Trades today. Let's see what kind of action he can do over here. He's gonna kick and punch and mace hand the crap out of these balloons. Though I gotta say, Finn so far has been doing an epic job. Like, he's, he's popping pretty much all the balloons so far. Heck yeah. Oh, we can get some other cooler upgrades if you're, like, bound by word. I don't know what they do yet. Can I see... Oh, oh, they do! They show me all the different ways that we can do it. Oh, this is awesome! So it looks like you need some sort of... You can kind of combine the upgrades together depending on who's nearby. Yeah, I can basically... If Jake's nearby, uh, Finn can get this extra upgrade on the right side over here. If Prince PB's nearby, we can get Bound by Word over here on the left. So this is awesome, dude. All right. Maybe you guys can tell me, is this the official uh, uh, voice actors of, of the the show. It really sounds like them, but maybe some of you more extreme lemon hats would know a little bit more than I do. Alright, Jake's more of like a group pop and power kind of guy. He does the big hand smack. Oh my god, a freaking Moab! What are we going to do against a Moab? No way. I don't think we can take this thing down. Come on, pop it, dude. Pop it. I got nothing. Motherful, what is that thing? That thing is a lot of trouble, and we're not strong enough to take it down. No, we're not. We definitely aren't. Oh, no. If it reaches the candy citizens, then it's game over for all of us. Oh, crap, Princess Bubblegum. Why do you got to bring that up to me? The big guns. All right. Who's the big guns? We got our power-ups right here. Oh, powers are single-use items that have a huge impact on the game, man. So if you're struggle-lugga, dude, you pop one of these powers down, and you're going to defeat anything you want. 
They can range from character boosts to full screen effects, which devastate all the balloons. Powers will level up uh, with your overall player rank. Use the huge explosion now to save the Candy Kingdom. All right, let's use the huge explosion. Tippity tappity boopity boopity bam! Booyah, baby! We took it down. The power of hugs. Awesome. Thanks, PB. You always got my back. You always got my back, and we complete the level. Absolutely amazing. The candy throne room normal with round 10, baby. We open up our chest, and what do we get out of this bad boy? We get some coins, we get some gems, and we get some experience. That's it? That's all I get on my chest? Just just one, one single gem? Just a tiny bit of experience? That's okay. We can tap and hold upgrades to see what they do. Oh, that's what I was curious about. What are you looking for? My old BWI. A BWI. What in the hoot is a BWI? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bloom Cave indexer, silly. According to this data, many more powerful balloons can arrive in ooh at any minute. Oh, snap. Bring it on. I do not fear balloons. They're inflating exponentially and must be stopped. Hand me the Enchiridion. Enchiridion. That sounds like a fancy thing. She's in grave danger. We have to go now. All right, so we got that uh, that that thing about happening over here. We're gonna finish off with we're gonna finish off Candy Cornered over here with uh, our uh, our other level one difficulty. Now we got four people to use. We're just gonna play on the normal difficulty, man. You can use the gold coins from chest to buy more powers. Rare powers are more expensive. Uh oh, this is, this is who's this candy dog? What? All right, so oh, I gotta sneeze, guys. I'm sorry, I gotta sneeze. I think. Uh oh, it's coming. It's <laughs> Yo, excuse me, man. So uh, we gotta defend the balloons. So let's uh, let's get going over here. Let's use. Uh, let's try and combine some people together this time around. Let's pop him right here. Are we gonna get some water towers soon, baby? We're we gonna get a buccaneer or something. Ooh, we got this guy on our team. Is he gonna help out a little bit? All right. Well, let's let uh, Finn take down the balloons from the get-go, and then we're gonna pop Jake in real quick. Jake, oh yeah, big bad Jake up in here. He's a funky mofo. He's gonna take down these balloons for sure. And oh yeah, we can. Yeah, so basically we can double fist each other. Oh, that sounds wrong. We're gonna fist each. I mean, just we're gonna yeah pound each other. Oh man, that all sounds bad. We're gonna do whatever that hand means uh, fairly soon over here. I think what I gotta do is I gotta get... Let's see, let's see. I forget. How do we do this? Let's hold on Finn real quick. Here we go. We're gonna do the bro fist over here. So we gotta get right in the clubs first, and then we can do the bro fist. Alright. Pretty expensive uh, upgrades over here, though, guys. Right at the clubs, 450 bucks. What? This is getting insane. So we've got three extra support wieners over here, though. Look at these little wieners, man. Look at them go! Oh, yeah. They've got hearts uh, defending right now. Still gotta save up a lot of money, though. Will it be strong enough? Round four already. I wonder if there's a way to auto-start. I'm just weird. I love I love my auto-starting here, guys. I love it. It makes me so much happier if I can auto-start crap. Uh-oh. The blues are getting pretty far, but not enough today. Round five already, boys, and we can get it. Let's get the right in the clubs. Oh, yes, we add an extra kick into this action right here. Honestly, if I was fighting the balloons, that's what I would do. Smack, 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 kick. Smack, 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 kick. Just perfect timing, dude. All right, let's keep on flowing here. Round six. Now we got some extra sausage warriors. Thank you, sausage warriors. I appreciate your your extremeness. We got some on the top over here, too. I didn't even see those guys. I don't think I can move them or anything, though. They're just kind of kind of there for helping. So here we go. Now I'm going to go up to... Oh, bro, fist is $1,400. Holy crap, the Sausage Warriors are protecting my lives. These little wieners up in here. I don't know if we're going to be able to afford the uh, whopping $1,400 upgrade in time here. Man, the Sausage Warriors, the wieners, they're getting hurt already, man. They're getting smacked like crazy right now. I know that uh, Jake is hes smacking my wiener right now so hard, dude. Look at that. Look at Jake, he's smacking him. Oh, he's a wiener smacker for sure. Oh, yeah, he smacked it, dude. And we lost a wiener warrior. Uh-oh. Can we survive? We've got two more rounds to go. If we can get this Jack of All Trades thing, Bob, we might be... Or not uh, Jack of All Trades. What do we want? I forget the upgrades, man. It's the Bro Fist. 
see how well this can work. Uh-oh. We need 53 no more dollars here. This is going to be a tight one. This is going to be a tight one after we're already bro-fisting each other up in here. All right, come on. And the bro fist. Here it is. Let's see him go to town here, man. Where's the bro fist at? There you go, bro fist. I don't even know. What do we get? Some money? I think we got extra money for that. Well, that's cool. We're going to get the faster throwing up in here, the faster uh, uh, swording up in here. And then I didn't even use Prince PB at all. I didn't use Princess Bubblegum at all. It'd be kind of interesting if we had to click the Sausage Warriors to fight them or something like that, like during the process. Uh oh. Uh oh. The Warriors, they're, oh, they're running out of lives, man. They're running out of lives, but round 12 will be completed. No lives lost, technically, as long as you allow the Sausage Warriors to die. My little wieners took one for the team. Okay, we got the Incridian. Wonderful. Let's see, what do we get out of our delicious chest right here? We get some coins. Wonderful. We get some gem. Oh, a single gem. And a little bit of experience as well to add right on to the pile right there. Amazing. Complete all the maps in Adventure to unlock an Adventure chest full of awesome rewards. Sweet, delicious bubblegums. The Hot Dog Princess. <laughs> I didn't know about the Hot Dog Princess. <laughs> oh man, this is good. Oh. There's only room for one furry sidekick around here, buddy. Oh, we got some furries around here. Catch my drift. Hot dog princess, do you still have the Enchiridion? Enchiridion. Yes, I've been sitting on it this whole time. According to the Enchiridion, popping blooms will give us access to wish orbs. Which will grant unique weapons and epic loot. Ooh, in the land of ooh, this is getting complicated over here, man. Unique weapons, epic loot? Oh my blob, Jake. Are you listening? Sure am, homie. It's level up time. Oh, baby. It's level it up time. All right, so we got Princess Bubblegum for sure unlocked right here. And we're going up a rank! So this is going to increase our already decent starting cash right here. Awesome sauce. And we complete Candy Cornered! Alright, so do we get to collect an extra... <gasps> we get another one! Awesome! Woo! Extra coins! We get some more gems! And we get some fin cakes! Shards! Didn't even know those existed. And a wish orb! There we go! Another new power! So if we ever get in any extreme issues over here, we can use our power to defeat those evil Moabs. So fin cakes. There we go. I love the fireworks, man. Just spray me with some firework confetti right here. I love it, I love it, I love it. This game is amazing. There's a lot of different things to work with, though. I mean, in balloons, it's like you get monkey money, and that's it. This game, we've got wish orbs and gems and gold and, and levels and experience and all this other crap. Ooh! Ooh, we get some cards up in here. Three awesome pieces of loot. Guys, calm down. There's something you need to know about wish orbs. Aw, oh, man, there's always a catch. Wish orbs will drop three pieces of loot, but you may only choose one. So choose wisely. My old sword. I haven't seen this in about five years. Come to Papa. So we could go for the trinkets, the trinkets, or the big bad weapon. Plus one pierce. Ah, nice. Per three stars. And I think I gotta keep this bad boy, man. All right, there we go. So we can uh, pick the stopwatch. Oh, they won't let me. They're going to make me take the ice cream. All right, let's prepare. 
Let's take down the balloons. Here's the new characters. This is this is just awesome, dude. I I like that I don't know what's going on because means we have a lot to learn and a lot to have fun with here, guys. Oh, and they've got Tuxedo Jake and Dungeon Finn and oh my God, there's a bunch of new characters over here. This is awesome. So we can oh we can add trinkets on top of ourselves, have a new weapon. So we're gonna equip our sword real quick. We get uh, ooh, there's a lot of different weapons for us. I'm pressing equip. Before equipping a weapon, you can see its stats and any special abilities here. Equip. Perfect. Told you it was easy. Yeah! Let's get back out there and try it out on those rubbery bandits. Finn, the rubbery bandits. With your face on them, we all have a special token which we can use to level up. In your case, it's the cakes. Level up? I'm ready! <laughs> I love it. He's just bouncing up and down. Oh, yeah! Oh, I'm ready! Try this. Alright, let's level them up, boys. Use those fin cakes. <laughs> Eat them up, and we're going up to level 2 already. We get Ratter Faster, Ratter Fastest, and... I didn't see what else it was. Limmer Limbs, Bound by Word, Bro Fist... Swordmaster 2? Oh yeah. That felt awesome. I feel ratter, faster, and even more powerful. That's because all of your fighting skills increase each time you reach a new star level. These balloons are crazy strong. We'll need to keep leveling up if we're going to beat them. Oh, that sounds about right, man. We gotta level our crap up right here. Can we add a trinket? Oh no, they're gonna make me back up here. They don't want me to add any trinkets today. Here's the trinket. Trinket, here's our ice cream. Equip. Oh, we got to info at first. Let's see what does it do. So delicious, it makes it attack faster. It must be the sugar. More effective if equipped to ice cream connoisseurs like Jake. Ooh. 3% attack speed boost if equipped to Jake. Hmm, pretty sweet, man. I wonder if we get some extreme ice cream later on. Looks like he can eat it forever, too. I feel like I have more energy or something. Like <laughs> Oh, of course, of course, exactly. That's exactly what you'd think. Can we get back out there now? Yeah, let's go. I want to find another orb and get more ice cream. Oh, sounds just like Jake. He's always in need of that ice cream right there. All right, so we can do Max and Jake and PB and Finn and everybody. It's adventure time! What are you waiting for, boys? I have no idea what I'm waiting for right now. But, uh, basically... Oh, here we go. We got the patch notes and everything. Here's our powers. We got the... Ooh, what kind of deals we got today? Are we going to be spending money on these things? 125 gems for a super rare red cowboy boot. That seems interesting. Plus two pierce? <gasps> Holy crap, man. That can be real strong for some peeps. So we just beat the we just beat the Bubblegum Kingdom. Now we've got the Ice Kingdom over here. Uh, what kind of levels are we going to be fighting in the Ice Kingdom? Winter is coming. All right, so sadly, Digi only lets me play one map per per day. I, I don't know if it it counts as a map for me to play two. Hopefully, I'm not cheating you guys uh, or cheating Digi Kiwi and being a jerk over here. But uh, yeah, this is this is an awesome game, man. I'm really excited to have some fun with this thing. It's a little weird. It's a little bit different than what we're used to. Uh, you know, I'm kind of excited to unlock all the new here, all the new I guess characters and heroes and and whatever. Ooh, we can go to the underwater city too. How many cities we got, man? We got the oh lemon grab kingdom. Oh man, I'm kind of excited for that one. Oh here we go. Oh baby, the haunted swamp. Oh yeah. And don't forget, you can play these on easy, medium, and hard eventually, or impoppable, or whatever it is. What's this red crystal? Unlocks at level five. This is exciting, man. It's kind of weird that they don't have them in order. They're kind of just randomized. And then here we got the Cactus Town. Whatever this is. I don't even know. Did they even let me go in the Cactus Town? No. I think Did we already beat Cactus Town? Grasslands. No. We still got to beat the Apple Thief over here. All right. Well, I'm excited to do all of this for you guys, of course. If you guys are enjoying... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Fire Kingdom. 
three difficulty right there. The Badlands against the Wizard. Yeep. This is all scary, man. Of course, it doesn't look like much is going on right now because we, uh, uh, they want us to fight the Ice Wizard, of course. So, uh, yeah, anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you press that like button for me. I'm still a little confused on what's going on. I just wanted to give you guys the first look on the game. If you enjoyed it, obviously, please press that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. And, of course, have a super-duper delicious day.